Good to see you all. Welcome back. Welcome back on this lovely Thursday, everybody. Hopefully everybody's doing great. Good to see you all. All right. Good morning. Good morning, Rich, Bill, everybody, Bonnie. All right, guys. So um, listen, called it out on Tesla, you know, definitely going to break uh, 700. Looks like the stock is making lower lows. Told you this is, we've learned, we, listen, what we've learned at Cybertrain University, understanding what a short squeeze is, and we saw it happen. We see it happen almost every day, almost on stocks. Don't, and now people are shocked at like, what the hell happened with Tesla? I mean, what the hell's going on? And it was, it, it was just ridiculous. So anyway, um, just a matter of time when it happened. Anyway, funny story, uh, before we start going through the watch list and so on, did you guys get a chance to watch me on the NASDAQ uh, channel talking about uh, level two versus uh, total view? Everybody get that opportunity to watch that? Yes, good, good, good. Well, thanks guys for watching it. And uh, we'll rebroadcast it on our on our website and everything else. Uh, it was a great interview. What was also nice, um, I'm going to send out a tweet. I don't know if you guys are going to see it, but we're able to sit around and and, and uh, with the uh, ringing the bell right there uh, with my family. It was a very kids were very very historic. It was just a great experience to be there and see that whole thing happen. Uh, I got some news. I got some news. I think you might like this. I know some of you. Um, so anyway, when I was at Nasdaq, uh, I spoke to their uh, marketing department and about I know we're having on site on September so I'm working out something that if you guys come on site we might be able to do something about ringing the bell in September for on site and uh, so if you guys are interested these are things listen I haven't done this in about three four years almost when we did a cocktail reception on the New York Stock Exchange and you see that picture but um, but yes I will be be able to uh, we might be doing something for September on the NASDAQ uh, site. So if you guys are interested, still want to come in, want to know more about it, I don't know, anything to make it enticing to come. Listen, that is just the fun part. So we might replace the soiree that we do the day before by going to the NASDAQ center and then uh, and then come back and do the class. So those are the two things that we, we might do. All right. But I'll let you guys know and keep you up to date on that. All right, guys. So anyway, so we got that going on, and uh, what else we got going on? So that was fun, and I'll be happy to share that picture with you uh, uh, of ringing the bell. But with that said, today uh, there's a let's go through the watch list, and then we'll go through what's moving on in the market. Obviously, we had a huge rally yesterday. Uh, I mean, the jobs report, which is great, great news. Market's up about 91 points. We're right back to where we're at. We're above 29,000. Looks like some of the numbers over here. I'm like uh, on uh, on my TV station, but everything looks pretty good. Well, I'll talk about a couple of things that are moving. And first of all, I want to start off with the Snap Trade. Snapchat was awesome. That stock was just a great, great short, 19 to 16 dollars. You know what? It, it it pulled a nice little head fake in pre-market. You could see how that thing made a nice little pop right there, and then sure enough, the thing just literally just tanked right there. So that was pretty interesting right there on uh, on the short. But a lot of people made a lot of money on that short on Snapchat. Uh, listen, I guess you, you saw what happened with Facebook. Facebook took a, a little bit of a, a correction with their earnings. So anyway, Snapchat basically follows suit. What else we got? Uh, PBYI. That one was also a really nice pop right out of the gate. That went from $8 to 15 Nice little pre-market trade right out of nowhere. I think just made a big, big pop from 11 to 15 That was also good. LK was another one. Uh, just getting decimated, but it had a nice little rally the last couple of days. Me back a lot from 25 up to 36. That one did pretty well too, and I think that pretty much does it. I mean, uh, there. I mean, other than trading some ETFs, which obviously no one I'm a big fan of right now. But other than the market did well, and there were a couple of movers out there. But these are some of the things that we were trading earlier. Now, what's going on this morning? There are a couple of good, interesting stocks that are moving pretty nicely this morning. Let's check them out. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start off with the FAMI. So that one, you could see, ooh, let me fix my time frame over here. I don't need to see what happened five days ago. But this one's got a, took a really, really big hit. Been hovering right below a dollar. Now the stock kind of broke out a little bit, up 44%. A lot of big orders out there on the level three on the right. So that one looks like something we might want to consider trading. Look, a lot of people can afford that one. This one, I mean, I didn't check the news on it. I think it's a buyout. I, I, I mean, I think it's a buyout being going from 20 to 33, but she keeps trending up. So let me keep an eye on that one too. Uh, I got to check the news on that, but that's up 20%. Let 
not a lot of orders out there in level three. So I'm probably would say it's probably not, but other than it's good news. You just learned this from experience. Zenya, I didn't see that stock in a long time. Zenya took a big, big hit, making uh, making back a little bit of its correction there. So Zenya is a nice little fun stock to trade, put up 7%. I know we trade that stock so many times, but I mean, I didn't realize stock took such a big hit that way. Is that really a lot though? 960, look, the chart looks a lot worse than what it really looks like. But that's a really good level one stock for some of you out there. FNKO, another one that made it on the watch list too. Is she still good? Yeah. So this stock is getting crushed. Uh, you can see it's a $26 stock in October. Now it's already down to nine. She's gapping down pretty bad right here. Got some really good orders, but unfortunately I'm still seeing some sell orders out there. So I don't know if she's on your short list. She might still continue to be a short. Now, um, this is another one we also trade a while ago. PBR. PBR is also gapping up pretty nicely. This stock is always like kind of quiet. And then some, sometimes it just comes out of nowhere, up 13 million shares, already in pre-market, up three cents. Now let's go hop on um, a, a brand name stock, which you're probably all hearing about on TV, which is Twitter. So Twitter is gapping up pretty nice. I like Twitter yeah, because it's filling in a gap right here. So the only problem with Twitter, guys, you know this, Twitter is a very difficult stock to trade. This is, you got to be a minimum a category two cyber trader or higher. This is not a level one stock. Be very, very careful of it. Uh, I'm looking at right now that there's been some huge sellers that are kind of holding the stock down. There's one big one they have for 25,000. This is not really a lot, knowing that they trade them with 5 million shares, around 36.50. So I see some resistance levels there. The guy's been out there all day. Looks like kind of hit there. It's been time a tough time breaking it. So I can watch, I can see that on level four and also on my book map. Uh, what else we got going here? The one I like a lot is this one. So all of you guys have been trading this one, this one right here, the UIS. Uh, this one is basically has been the best one so far in pre-market. It just broke, uh, broke a, you know, a yearly high right there. It's got, you know, tier size is what, what scare me. Look at the volume. It's got great volume pre-market, but you know, what's happening in, in the, on the secondary market on the total view on level four, I'm not really, you know, you got to be a little careful of that. So you got to also be a little advanced trader, but stocks upgrade at 40%. Uh, what else I got? I got two more here I want to bring up. The MYO, we all know about MYO. We killed it on this one, $10 stock to $40. She's moving. Hopefully you guys took very good notes of MYO. If you've been here for the first time or listened to this for the first time or you're doing a trial the first time, uh, you better go back and look at some of our videos on this stock. Some of us killed it, but once again, extremely volatile, you got to be probably in the leg, uh, the four category to trade it. Last but not least, the G G L G L O P, another one that's getting destroyed. Put that in the watch list. So uh, that's not doing too well itself too. But she's holding here pretty strong since eight o'clock in the morning, which is a good sign. Which is a good sign. All right, anything I'm missing, cyber traders, uh, that we could uh, look forward to it uh, to be acquired. Oh, F F C F S C T. For Scout uh, to be acquired, okay, at a buck ninety deal. FSCT, just getting that from Neil. A one point, a one point nine billion dollar deal. I thought it was a dollar. I thought, was, I thought that was an eight, not a B. Well, I, <laughs> well, congratulations. You know what I'm more happy for? Not the CEOs. Everybody hates these CEOs. You know what I'm happy for? The shareholders. You know, some people have to realize. I want to point this out. You know, there's so many haters out there that people think that, you know, that they, they hate the super rich and they should pay more and this and that. Do you know what? You know also made money here? The, 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 the employees. You know, most companies that when you work for a public company, they give you profit sharing. They give you, you know, shares in the company. And you know what? I There was a company here on Long Island. Uh, what's it called? PAL. P-A-L-L. -L. It was a public company. I don't know. Some of you from Texas probably know better than me. You know, I know we have a lot of Texas people here, but they, they they make like the most famous, best filters in the world for oil facilities. Well, they got bought out, and um, I had a, a friend of mine that went to school that uh, I went to school with, and he was one of the administrators there. And uh, yeah, they got bought out for like I don't know some billions of dollars. And yeah, the CEOs made so much money. But you know what? He actually made he made so much money on the stock. He was a guy who was making about sixty, seventy thousand. He made he, he made so much money in his stock. He ended up paying off his house. So listen. 
shareholders do very, very well. That's what it's all about. So uh, it's not about us, you know, people complaining about us being in the stock market. Listen, you don't have to be in the stock market that will like us to do great. There are people that work for public companies who also do well. That's why I guess they, they like, you know, you know, I'm actually doing a class on it. That's why a lot of people uh, to a, a, a bunch of students, they're like, well, what's the, what's the advantage of that? Well, that's why it's nice working for a public company, you know, because if you do do well, the company does well, and that's the whole purpose of our being public. So uh, anyway, that's a little tr uh, tip of the day and our trades for the day. Uh, oh, one last thing before we go, bef uh, before we get to the trading and I'll put these stock picks. Uh, one other good thing that happened when I was at the NASDAQ Center, I got an opportunity uh, to meet everybody from Fast Money. Does everybody know, you know, everybody know Fast Money, the TV show on CNBC right after the uh, right after the closing bell. Everybody familiar with that show? So I got to get to. I, uh, I, it's so funny. I got into the into the elevator. They were all going up there, and uh, they were just so nice people. I mean, guy uh, is a nice guy. All of them. They all said hello to my kids. Uh, you know, I was talking to him and let him know that I did an event with him a long time ago. Obviously, I said he probably don't remember, but uh, they remember who was there. I mean, it was like over several years ago. But uh, very, very nice people, great people. But one thing I did mention to them, and I said something about their show. I said, you guys, you know what you guys don't do? You don't talk about day trading enough. He's like, you, I mean, you realize, you know, so many people day trade. And you know what they told me? They're like, no, there's not. I said, isn't that that business diet? I'm like, are you kidding me? There are hundreds of thousands of people that day trade every day. He said, he says, well, maybe we should consider it, but we didn't really think that there were that many people doing it. They're like, well, you, be, you know, I don't know who you're looking at it, but they are. And uh, hopefully one day I'll be able to go on that show and tell them a little bit about it. But, and I think that will probably be sooner than later. But, uh, but anyway, there were a bunch of great people. I just want to say, and thank you for saying, saying hello to my kids and everything. And, uh, you know, taking, you know, taking a photograph with them. But they had a long conversation with them before the show, and it was awesome. So thank you, uh, guys, for doing that. Anyway, good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, we're going to start commentating in about 15 minutes. So don't go anywhere. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, whatever it is, if you want to learn more about Cybertree University, just feel free to subscribe, and we'll get you in our trading room, and you'll see how we do it. Guys, good luck today. Happy trading, everyone.